Dab Nation, welcome back. I am Tom, and today we are going to be doing MS setting uh, with auto hotkeys. Basically, Microsoft settings, and they can be very helpful for doing a lot of really cool things uh, with a little bit easier code or just other code in general. Uh, it's kind of a way to play with the system of Microsoft. You'll understand it looks better here in a second. Uh, it's kind of, that was probably. It's kind of hard to explain without seeing what's going on. So we'll start looking at the code now. Uh, I want to start off with, in this video, I'm just going to kind of show you a few that I found interesting, I've used before, and uh, there's definitely like hundreds out there. So I will also include these two links in the description below. I'm sure there's a lot more websites out there, but these were the two I found the most useful. Um, so let's start there just by kind of taking a look at what we got. If I can get that, the, yeah, there we go. All right. So there is a huge uh, list here. So, I mean, you got tons of them here. And there's a bunch. So I'm just kind of scrolling through. This one doesn't have a lot, but this one had a ton, I found. And uh, some that weren't on the other list. So that's why I'm kind of mixing them together. Um, so here, this one, this one has a great amount of them it, it took me a while to go through all these and just kind of figure out what all of them did some of them you might not quite understand without googling them I, I had to do a lot of that just to see like oh this sounds interesting but what does it actually do so yeah let's see uh how these actually work with auto hotkeys um so the first one we're going to do is just a real simple uh run ms settings and we're going to do apps volume um, let me go ahead and get this up and running for us. Yeah, don't need those. So here we go. And what was that? I'm starting with F1. So I'm going to go ahead and press F1. And whoop, that just opened up this. And um, that just basically just opened this and changed my... Uh, so I can change my master volume, change my, uh, you know, what my output is, my input. I probably shouldn't play with that right now while I'm recording. Um, so this just opens up all your different apps video uh, volume. Uh, the reason I put this in here is I see a lot of people wanting a fast way to access this uh, setting menu so that they can do it. And that's what that setting is. We're opening the apps volume. Uh, switch to night mode. Uh, so with this one, we're doing the... Uh, command M run ms action center if you don't know what your action center is that's kind of your little uh bar over here where you get like notifications and stuff i know i'm kind of in the way here <laughs> sorry about that um so what i'm doing here this one was a little bit weird um all this does is open the action center but i couldn't really play with like you know like the network and stuff um sorry about my uh <laughs> video capture here uh so given a quick sleep in case it's a little lagged open i found sometimes it can be uh, i'm doing tab three times uh t left three right three right two enter uh, basically what this is doing is let me use my uh, so the tab three it's changing the focus down to here and then i'm using left three and then uh, right three. And that's just making sure that I'm starting in the same spot every time. And then I'm just using right two to get to that night mode. So you got to kind of play around with how you're going to move around with that. It was kind of annoying. It wasn't the greatest way, but whatever. So let's go ahead and do that F2. It's going to open, move around. And uh, why well, did, hold on. So I definitely uh, <laughs> need to play around with these lefts and rights. I kind of just guessed when I was doing it. Um, but I don't want to actually switch to mat night mode right now while I'm recording. So that works regardless. Um, I don't really see people using this a lot. But I kind of liked it for the idea of a quick way to switch to night mode. Obviously I need to adjust this a little bit to match my uh, current computer settings. I guess it's a little bit different than where I had created this uh, code in the first place. That's fine. It's pretty easy to figure out. Uh, let's see. Bing. This one I thought was really cool. Unfortunately, you can't do Chrome. You know, you're on a Microsoft computer, so they want you to use Bing. So they never really 
I mean, maybe Chrome has added something like this if they have. I mean, you can always just do a run google.com slash whatever. Um, but for here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight an address. So I just got Newark, Delaware here. Uh, it's going to control C. So it's going to copy it to the clipboard. It's going to run maps. It's going to wait three seconds. Give it some time to load up there. Let's slow that down a little bit just because I'm recording. Uh, then it's just going to say uh, paste that address uh, with control V. Wait a second and then press enter. So let's go ahead and just do that real quick. So F3. So it opened Bing, and there we go, Newark, Delaware, close to where I live. So I thought this was really cool if you have to look up addresses a lot, like really quickly, it's just running the Maps, uh, Bing's Maps uh, application that's built into your computer. Um, if you want to use Chrome, you would just have to actually use, or uh, yeah, you would just have to use uh, like a run and actually launch your Chrome browser uh, through that way. So Bing's just was a little bit easier to use. So whatever. Sorry, I'm a little bit of a hater on Bing's. <laughs> um, all right, so here we're doing F4. We're going to open that settings menu again. And for this one, I don't know why I didn't add a comment, but we're just going to do a language change. Um, so I slowed this down just so it's more visually seeable why I'm recording for you guys as the viewer. Uh, we're going to sleep for 5,000 seconds, or milliseconds, sorry. Uh, send language. Um, you could spell out the full word, but in, as far as settings go, there's really only just the language set, set, uh, section there that starts with L-A-N-G, so it's not going to hit anything else uh, in the settings menu. Sleep 1,000, uh, send down, send enter. That's just going to move me to that select your language. And uh, send T-U-R for uh, Turkish, uh, and then enter. Now, I don't actually have any languages installed on my computer besides English, so uh, this will still work, but when it gets here to send for Turkish, it's not going to do anything, and that's okay, because I don't want to change my uh, language in the middle of the recording. I don't know, sure, I'm not sure if that would like mess up all this or not. That'd be kind of weird, and have to like revert it. So, F4. Settings going to type in that language like I said I slowed it down a little bit it's going to go down boom English now here's where it would have uh, just now changed this but as you see there is no other languages so then my computer would be automatically switched I know a lot of people watching these videos uh, you know they are speaking or I guess coding typing whatever in you know multiple language a lot of people English isn't their native language so they might want a cool way to really switch back and forth between their native language and English. And I thought this could be something that a lot of people would find very interesting. I have no use for it, but I figured you guys would like it. Uh, I currently do not have Minecraft installed on my computer, but I thought this one was really cool. I was surprised that this was built in. I know, you know, it's, it's a Microsoft product now, but still found that kind of interesting that you can just do run Minecraft and it's just going to find Minecraft on your computer and run it. I thought that was interesting. Obviously, this is not going to work if you're, you know, using like a bucket or I forget what the new one is uh, for your Minecraft uh, client. Um, but if you got like the JavaScript, you know, the normal one, this should work fine. But I don't have it currently installed, so I can't really show you that. And if you guys like what I'm showing you here today, definitely check all my other automation videos out. Uh, hit that subscribe button, like, you know comment you know show me some love guys because i love throwing you guys two to three videos every single week on how to automate life in general hey right sorry about that back onto that uh what is this one ah uh, personalize my background i don't know why halfway through uh, writing the script i started i stopped commenting stuff so i'm gonna add those so that you guys have it so you know what they do uh which i'll put this all in the description below that way you can use which ones you want. Uh, so this one, well, I guess I really don't need to write background, but whatever. Um, so yeah, this one we're just going to push F6. And that's just going to open the settings uh, to my background. Eventually. Now here you could do something like send tab, maybe to move around to get to like, you know, changing your settings and stuff. 
So if that way, if you had like two different backgrounds that you want to constantly switch between, you could have it automatically do that too. Um, I know there's other ways to switch your background without the need to go into settings. Um, but if you want to do it this way, uh, that's just, you know, Microsoft settings, personalization of your background. F7, uh, this one I found very helpful. A lot of people are always asking for a keyboard on your screen. Um, for whatever reason, uh, there's a lot of reasons out there why you might want that. Um, so this F7, that's going to open the keyboard settings and it's going to switch that button right there to on. And now I have a big old on-screen keyboard for myself. And when you close it, it just defaults to off. So that's what that's doing. It's running that and then pushing space, which is just switching that little slider there. I figured people uh, like their privacy a lot, want to maybe a quick way after a meeting to kind of like disable their webcam if they don't have like a way to cover it up or something. Um, so here we're just pushing uh, F8. It's going to open up our privacy settings specifically towards the webcam. You know, some sleeps in there. Uh, we're going to tab down and then we're going to push space to get that slider. So I'm going to go ahead and push if. Probably shouldn't do this because I'm recording with my webcam. So we are going to temporarily add a return there so that we don't actually do that. And I cut out. Glad I caught that before I did that. <laughs> Let me rerun that script with the new setting. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and push F8. I'm going to open up that place. We're going to tab down. And right here is if it were to push space, it would turn off all access, allow apps to access your camera. Um, so this is a great way if you're after a meeting, you want to quickly like disable functionality because I know people can get a little paranoid about their camp being accessed remotely. It's definitely a possibility. So yeah, if you guys have any questions on these uh, or want me to expand on anything I've showed you here today, definitely hit me up in the comments below and I'll see you guys on the next video. Thanks for watching.